There have been 14 quarterbacks to win a Super Bowl. Only one has been traded before he was 30, which is yourself. Yet you seem to know that this was all going to be inevitable. Well, I felt it coming the last about a year and a half. And I, uh, they were unhappy with me for some reason or the other, and uh, you know I was prepared for it. Uh, I felt it uh, really coming on as the start of training camp. You know, I knew I, I wasn't getting a fair shot. Uh, no matter what I did, I was not going to be the starter here. So uh, I'm glad things worked out the way they did. You don't think you could have won a job? Didn't matter what I did. And I felt I was having a good camp. I got one series last week in the game, and uh, I made the most of it. You know, it took 11 minutes before I got off the field. So um, it, it really didn't matter. You're a proven winner. You're a proven winner, fearless leader. I mean, the kind of guy who walked into a huddle with a lacerated kidney to inspire his teammates. Yet, where did you and Ditka not see eye to eye? Well, I think it started back in 86. I hurt my shoulder the first game of the year. I should have never played again uh, before I got it fixed. I, I kept trying to play throughout the year, and, and some days it would feel OK, some days it wouldn't. And uh, I don't think they believed I was hurt. I mean, he actually told me that to my face. He thought I was faking. So. Uh, I think our relationship started deteriorating at that point. What happened, though, that you guys didn't even talk during training camp? That surprised some people, at least. No, no, not if you know Mike Dickey, it doesn't. He doesn't really talk to you unless he's got something to say. And uh, most of the things that were said were, were fairly negative, so I didn't really have anything to say to him. Yet, after Super Bowl XX, he went so far as to say that you should have gotten the MVP ahead of Richard Dent. Why would he want to trade a guy who's a Super Bowl-winning quarterback? Well, he's, he's got his own ideas, and uh, you know, he told me they were going in a different direction, and they wanted somebody else, so you know, I can live with that. And I feel like i got a lot of good years left, and uh, it would be nice to go somewhere where you're appreciated. Well, I'm not bitter. Uh, in fact, I wanted out myself. You know, I, saw the, uh, I saw this coming. What was funny is the day I got home from Platteville on Thursday, I talked to my attorney, and I, I asked him to get something done. You know, I'm not going to play here and I want to get traded. And actually, the deal was in the works that night. So uh, not from us. They, they were already discussing it. So uh, I got a call the next morning, said I was traded. I was pretty happy. Steve Zucker, your attorney, mentioned that you wanted to go to San Diego. Why would you want to go into a situation where they're rebuilding and you've got an unproven offensive line where you could take a lot of punishment? Well, the, the big reason was uh, Ted Tolner. I worked with Ted Tolner in college. Uh, I know the type of coach he is, the type of person he is. And uh, you, know, you know, if you're going to get traded, why not San Diego? The weather's great. Uh, I've always played well in that stadium. Um, you know, it, ju it just seemed like a good situation to go to. You know, help. You know, it's easy to go to a winner, but uh, to go to a team that's struggling and, and see if you can do something—it's it's a big challenge.